There's this video of a mountain lion that is advancing and approaching towards a man who is hiking a trail in Utah. And I'm a wildlife biologist and it's really frustrating to see the media and of course the public misconstrue exactly what's going on. So I have this, this tweet in front of me. It's from a radio station and it says, a cougar stalked a man for over six minutes during his run through Slate Canyon. This cougar is not stalking this man in a way that is such that it wants to kill him or that it is predatory. What is happening in this video is that this mama cougar is trying to get the man away from her den where there are kittens or cubs. You can use them interchangeably. This is the part of the story that has missing, been missing. And this is such an important part of the story because people are scared of animals like cougars, mountain lions, pumas, those are all the same animals, so I might use them interchangeably. And they shouldn't be. Your chances of having a negative interaction with an animal like this are extremely, 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 extremely small. You have a way higher chance of being attacked by a domesticated dog. Okay, so back to the video. So all this mom is trying to do is get this man away from her kittens because she doesn't know what his intentions are and she wants to protect them. Now, if you are ever this close to a mountain lion, do not get out your camera. You are too close. You need to be focusing on what to do. So what you want to do is make yourself look big, sound big. You are going to yell at the animal. You might um, say things like, I'm here, leave me alone, <laughs> clap your hands. And again, like make your body look physically big. So when this guy was taking out the phone and going like this, he's, he's essentially condensing his body and making himself look smaller. So you don't want to do that. Seeing a mountain lion is incredibly rare. It is extremely difficult to see. I um, work with camera traps a lot. I've been working with camera traps for years all over the world, quite honestly. And we get mountain lions a lot on our camera traps. Um, but to see one in the wild is very, very difficult to do. I uh, worked in Utah for six months where um, actually we were on the northern Arizona side, really close to the border of Utah. And I was outside almost daily. I never saw a mountain lion, never saw a cougar. So please do not let this make you scared of these beautiful animals. If you are ever so lucky to see one in the wild, make sure you give it tons of space. Make sure that you watch it from afar, appreciate its beauty. And one more thing, if this cougar was stalking the man in terms of um, predating him, he wouldn't have known it. Cougars, they're sit and wait predators, ambush predators. So they're gonna come like out of nowhere. You're not gonna see them coming and you're gonna be down on the ground before um, before you even see or realize what's happening. They are not like like chasing predators like wolves who will, will run after their prey. So the fact that this cougar is very much out in the open, very much displaying this aggressive behavior, signals that she is not trying to kill this person. She is only trying to protect her cubs and get this guy out of her way. So I am Dr. Stephanie Shuttler. My channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring people to conserve our natural world. I'm a wildlife biologist. I've been in the field since 2003, and I am extremely passionate about people having responsible interactions with wildlife because nowadays people are getting way too close to animals for that perfect picture, for that perfect video, and the animals suffer because it is a form of uh, harassment and sometimes the people suffer too. Actually, sometimes the animals even die. There's been cases of people handling baby dolphins and the animals die. But um, the people can also die or get seriously injured too. So please keep your distance from all wild animals, no matter how big and sm or small, they are wild. Let's keep it that way. Thanks guys. If you like this information about cougars, I have a video on Black Panthers that I'm gonna link to and make sure you sub subscribe to my channel for more info and um, on animals and fun stories of trips from the field and advice for wildlife biologists. Bye.